We're gonna go get Fancy out of the field, bring her down to the barn because she is getting close to calving. It's a long drive to take, six or seven times a day to watch for her calving. We brought all the cows up to this field last week. This is a, a field on the property that we've never grazed before. But this year we're really working on stockpile grazing. So we got them all the way up into this field and then we realized, uh oh, <laughs> we got to bring her all the way back. Yeah. Be the carrot. Be the carrot. Ooh. We're going all the way down there. We are up on one of the higher fields on the property. We brought the cows here because there was a lot of good pasture. Uh, some of it was overgrown, but some of it, like what we're walking through right now, is recently caught and nice stuff. But it's a long, long way. It's down two fields down to the barn. So we gotta try to get Fancy there. Kay's gonna try to walk her there. Let's see if we can get her back home. Looks like, looks like Fancy's held up, so we're gonna uh, apply the carrot. Here, take this to mommy. We have to go all the way down this road, through the woods, around and down. It's quite a long journey. This should be interesting. And maybe you're thinking if uh, we were planning better, we wouldn't have brought the cow up to the field that was about to calve. And you're right, <laughs> we would have. But she is uh, showing signs of coming into labor a little bit early. She's not actually due for another week. So pretty much we'll be done in a week grazing up in that field. If she had come on her due date, started showing more signs we would have been fine but it doesn't always work out that way and that's okay we're uh, we're rolling with the punches What's that? look at the cow I'll show my The great move went good. It was a long way to lead her. That's the longest I've led her anywhere. Uh, but she did really good. She didn't want to leave the other cows. And she didn't believe me when I told her we were going to see Luna. So she needed a little yeah. encouragement, a feed bucket in the front, some hand clapping in the back, and we got her. <laughs> you see coming down the hill, she was like starting to run. So we had to slow down, turn her around, get control again. At that moment, Austin was like, don't forget the honeybees, because there's a big swarm of honeybees on the side of the road. So it was like, a running cow, the kids running and clapping and screaming, and then the cow and the honeybees and the... Yeah, it went well. <laughs> Here you go. Did you know me and win a widow able? I did not know that. Hey, Daddy. Good job, honey. All right, we're going to set up those... We're going to put them up this line here. Nope. Which one of you do I do it on? Number three from the top. Is the fence on? You got it right there. Good job. Is the fence on? No, the fence isn't on right now.
Give me a fancy update. I just want to give you a regular update, nothing fancy. She good. Happy to be back with Luna. Lots of mucus. Crazy hair. Hopefully that means a pepper. Luna's not all about you. Our little Concho Junior over there. That's Luna's little calf. We call him Meatball affectionately. He's turning out to be such a nice little bull. Luna's doing a great job with him and he's just a nice, friendly little calf. I'm really pleased with him. He will be for sale though, because we don't need another little bull around here. If anybody's interested, he's staying pretty small. And he's pulled. It's a cutie. Yeah, you're cute. All A2A2, right? He's A2A2, yeah. A2A2 pulled. Concho makes really nice, friendly calves. Every calf we've had from him has been really well-tempered. Even though they're all damn raised, they've been really nice with us, but not too crazy. So yeah, I'm pleased with those calves. Even if he's a boy. We had an incredible five heifer streak going that meatball broke. And after, well, actually, Jolene's calf, Ragamuffin, broke that. So we had the boy Highland, then meatball, little boy, and then Grasshopper just had another bull. That one's meatloaf. So we are really hoping that Fancy can bring us. Let's get fa fancy. Well, she has bread with sex semen. I mean, we have it. In oh, that's right. Oh, man. Poor Luna has a limp. She, I think, got a stone on her hoof or a stick, something in there, and then ended up getting hoof rot from that. So we had our hoof trimmer out. She was due to get trimmed anyways. She was far enough away from having her calf that we got her trimmed, and he fixed her up, and hopefully she'll be walking as good as new in no time. There's water down there, right? Yep, a little bit. Ooh. He's going racing down. He's going to go right under oh, the fence. Oh, 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 right under. Yep. The other doesn't say soon, but... We like to keep the cows closer to the barn when calving. It's easier for us to check on them on the hill back here than like way up in that field or up in the field behind us here. Uh, so we can keep an eye on her. And if we do need to get her into the barn for some reason or the calf into the barn for some reason, the barn's close here, so. We will, because we're pulling the calf. Oh. Whoa. We are not going to keep the calf on fancy this time. Uh, she didn't keep her calf with her last time. It was bottle fed. And we're going to be doing the same thing. I'm looking forward to getting all that milk and all that cream without. And so, with Fancy safely down at the barn, we were able to keep a close eye on her and be completely prepared when she went into labor and observe her as she gave birth peacefully to her calf. Nope, that's not how it happens on the homestead. There's a reason like every saying about making plans. The best laid plans. All the plan sayings. So about a week ago, we moved the cows, as you'll remember, which you just saw in this video. Uh, we moved them to this hillside right, right behind our house. Look at it's right there. That way when Fancy calved, she would be right there. And we'd be able to keep an eye on her, be there for the calving. Well, this morning we woke up to find our line was down. And Kay took a quick run up to see where they were. Back where they started. Three fields away at the top of the family mountain here and guess what is there a calf ah a newborn calf, a newborn calf that we're pulling been watching 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 for all week 
Multiple checks all week long. All night, and uh, go back. I'll grab a bucket of feed and see. Let's go. Now we got to get fancy down here to milk. Oh my goodness. Let's go. There she is. I don't know what it is. The baby was laying down. She was bred to sex semen, so I'm hoping it's a girl. This is a big moment. Uh, yeah. First time we've ever worked with sex semen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, that is a cute little baby, though. Little baby. Hey, Vance. Look at you. Pretty fresh. Wow, she popped. Yeah, she did. Look at that. Huh, we're gonna have to take you guys down to the barn, you know. Not gonna like it, though. You don't get to be a wild cow, Fancy. No, duh. Looks pretty. Looks pretty. I see some. Some little white feet. I see some little, little white splotches. Yeah, that's good. Not one of them all brown Guernseys. <laughs> What's the point, Guernseys? <laughs> Guernseys have that like hippo face. They look like they're uh, a skinny hippo. It's like long and wide. Oh, I'm gonna walk. You want me to go close? Yeah, see, see how she does Okay, here. You can film my death. For insurance purposes. Feel, feel my untimely death. Got some goofy legs. Hi there, fam. How's your baby doing? That's a nice baby you got there. Hi. What a nice baby you have. Yeah. Can I get a closer look at that baby? I was going to say she looks real leggy, but she's a Guernsey. She's yeah, that's a, all right. This is not a mini Jersey cow. What a nice baby. Yeah. Oh, what a nice mama. Come on, heifer. Good there. All right, let's see how my anatomy, boy, they're so much bigger than mini Jersey calves. Holy cow, you're beautiful. It's a pretty cow. Well, let's see what it is. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, it's such a hard time. Watch out. Okay, mama, okay. Looks a girl from what I can see. I'm pretty sure we got ourselves a heifer there. We just broke our bull streak. That's a heifer. Hold on, I didn't get your thumbs up. That's a heifer. We broke the bull streak. Beautiful, beautiful Guernsey heifer. Oh man, I'm excited about that. <laughs> we have had a bull streak, three bulls in a row. It gets old fast. <laughs> that, that feels like a nice win right there. And boy, what an easy calving that was. Yeah, she's we had nice and dry. And found a calf. No stress. Good job, Fancy. You did good. Now, we gotta figure out how to get them all down. How do we get her down? And everybody, meanwhile, is destroying our They're TV. all scratching up against it. Goodness. Beautiful spot for a baby. You did good, Vance. We're proud of you. But how do we get you back now? Yeah, that's the question. We're proud of you. Wish you hadn't come up here for it, but... Good girl. She's pretty. Look at those, like, pretty long... Pretty white legs. Legs and belly. Pretty boots. She's got some color on the side. That'll awesome. help. Yeah, I like that cute little white belly. I think, okay, so now we have to get, we have to get Fancy and Baby down like we did before, <laughs> last week at this time, down through the woods, around the field, and down to the barn. I think the best thing we could do is drive in here with the gator, grab Baby, and go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, she's a little tank. So let's get the gator, gator. And now we also have to make a we have to think about all this everybody. stuff, like how do we get the, all these cows have to go, can they all go together with the other ones? Yeah, they can, not her. Who's her? Bumble. Bumble, because why, she'll be bred? 
Looney, Looney, I'm I'm not. You should have said something, Loon. <clears throat> Luna, you should have said something, Luna. I expect better out of you. Look at her. She's up. We just missed her birth. She hasn't even stood up yet, so it's good timing. That's her first stand. She's doing great. Oh boy, you got yourself a painted heifer. Ready to sell her? No. <laughs> of course not. You're never going to sell that calf. Cool. There are all different ways to calf share. All right. So this will be, uh, we're going to pull the calf off of Fancy and feed the calf Fancy's milk. And one tip I read from a person who's been doing this for years and years was let the mom and calf stay together the first 24 hours. The calf gets lots of stimulation from mom, licking, licking. And then at some point you just kind of whisk the calf away and start bottle feeding. We will bring her down we'll bottle feed her because I haven't seen her eat yet. Um, and mom hardly notices. And I've seen that with our cows when they hide their calf. It's like they just forget about it. <laughs> so. so we're gonna we're gonna have Fancy for our milk and her milk will feed her calf and we'll bottle feed the calf with it. And we're gonna follow in the herd. Alright, so pick up the calf. I'll scoop up the calf. Yeah, I'll give her the Where should I be? I'm gonna just try to sit in the passenger seat. Yeah. She's a big calf. But right now we're our mission is just fancy and and, get the calf. and schmancy. You are not calling her schmancy. I was waiting for it. I knew that was coming. Feed right now, right? I don't want it to do anyway. ourselves driving down to the barn because that's what we're about to do and it's not safe for Kay to drive in the film. Alright, what should we do? To get she fancy? Eating. I get her attention. We could sit you in the back. So she the sees the calf? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. She's Boy, a you're big a big calf. calf. I'm used to these big calves. I know. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Probably be easier for you anyway. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. We're going the old. Jurassic Park, Ian Malcolm Bates the T-Rex method. Must go faster, must go faster. Oh, come on. Run to the stand. Uh, I need some of these feet. Come on. Come on. Everyone else is coming. Now go get that bucket from her. Yes, sir. Come running. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. <laughs> Luna's coming. Back up, let her see her baby, and and go forward. 
And you got your fiberglass splinters, hon. Where's she going? She'll go in that Let's where the skate the is. Just in the big stall. Okay, we got Schmancy in the barn. Now we gotta get Schmancy. Fancy. That's what I wanna call the baby Schmancy. No, Fancy not and Schmancy. Schmancy. Not Schmancy? That's not good. No? Yeah, not terrible. All right, we're gonna try to get Fancy down to the barn. Now this is gonna be hard because it's a long, long journey and she won't wanna leave the other cows. So let's see if we can do it or not. Honey, we can't go yet.
in there. Okay. You're gonna need a lot. Yep. It'll be a lot. Is this like the bouquet? If I catch the afterbirth by the having baby. the next baby. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. And again. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. She was. So I'm gonna put her out um out here. And I have her. Um, Can we take one moment now that everything, the big rush, well we gotta feed well, I gotta that. I gotta feed that heifer. Beautiful little heifer, too. Pretty heifer, not just a heifer. I want them all brown things. <laughs> like a jersey. A schmancy heifer. So are we bottle feeding little baby? Yep. so good. It's like, oh, it does. The thing's right there.
How much should she get? Oh, I got two points right now. Bye -bye. Oh, Look at that. Get? You're a smart baby. <laughs> Thick. It's kind of nice. It's just surreal. Look at how big it is. So big. Oh. I know, it looks like a, a moose or something. Like. That's so cute. Oh, let's see, they're usually all bent up. Are born. Making friends. Yeah, be like that colossal baby. Just a little bit more so you get too cold. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. You make it look so POV. Good. You're feeding a cat. It's pretty cute. Nice cow turns into a nice, nice heifer. Our barn is so noisy right now. That's the that's the return right there. Love that we got a heifer. Oh man, that feels good. So the head thing's prop. The head thing, Daddy. The that's right. Remember head. her hair was. The smaller. head thing, yeah. And the two grasshopper and Luna both had. They the both smooth. have the smooth. So far, we're batting 100 percent on. On the pole hair. The pole hair. Is that what they call it? Chill, it's cold in the house. Oh yeah, that's cold. Good. Good, coming at ya. Overall, this birth went pretty smoothly, but they don't always go so smooth. Watch this birth. It was the first time we ever had to pull a calf. It was pretty intense.